What's up, guys? So this meeting here is a bittersweet moment for me, and I know a lot of other people out there. Now, Hart and I have been in conversation now, honestly, for the past couple of years, um, but more recently for, for different reasons. Um, I've been a fan of Hart for the longest. He has been the first person to ever personally cover me when I turned pro at North Americans almost six years ago from today. And I remember that moment like it was yesterday because I felt like I was actually beginning to, you know, build a career for myself when I have people talking about me and, and hyping me up. And ever since that moment, I've had a, a newfound respect and love for the content that Hart was creating. And yesterday, or actually, you know, a couple of days ago at this point, you know, there was a post made uh, by Hart McGrath himself um, surrounding taking a step back from the content that he has been creating and, and giving value to all of us. And I wanted to bring him on here and I wanted him to talk a little bit more about the reasons why he decided to make that decision and then talk a little bit more about what the next step looks like for him as well as his channel. So Hart, floor is open, brother. Brother, thank you for having me on. Um... I want to first start off by saying over the last five years and the couple channels that I have made, all the wonderful fans in the men's physique community, everyone tuning in from around the world, I love you guys to death and I'm so sorry I'm leaving and I'll explain why I'm leaving in a second, but uh, my heart goes out to you guys without everyone tuning in, without all the messages, the DMs, the comments, all the support that I was given over the last five years. I would have quit a long time ago, right? I, I think I stayed in it so long because I had such an awesome community filled with such awesome people that cared about similar things, which was men's physique, which was bodybuilding, which was that passion behind all of this, right? So first of all, I want to thank everyone and I want to apologize to everyone for taking a long time to put this video out. You know, there's a lot of people that are on my ass right now for, for, for stopping the channel. There's a lot of people that are really upset at me and, and I understand and I'm, and I'm, I'm grateful and I am humbled because it just shows how much, you know, my content meant to them. And, uh, I just want to thank them for being a part of my journey. Um, it means a lot, yeah. but, uh, brother, the, the reason for leaving and everyone that's going to watch, it's really simple. I know probably maybe less than 1% of the people could tell over the last six, eight months, but I lost passion for covering men's physique about six or eight months ago. And over the last six to eight months, I've been forcing out videos and it's been like soul drenching for me to put out content covering men's physique a few times a week. And I was forcing it, man. It was really hard for me to do. And um, it created a lot of stress and tension in my life. I like doing it obviously because it created a, a nice life for me in terms of like income and freedom and all that stuff. But doing something that my heart was no longer in um, was really hurting me. It was really hurting my character. It was really hurting like my soul. It didn't feel good, you know? So I know I put that story up and, you know, said there was a crisis. My girlfriend and I broke up and I think that was the cherry on top for me to be like, okay, you know, I need to really make this change and move on. And, and start going in the direction that I feel is best for myself. Yeah. Well, I will say this, man. And I was blessed enough to have you on a recent episode of Men's Physique Radio where we kind of talked a little bit more about what was going on um, and in your life and also the positive impact that Alyssa had on your life. And this is mm -hmm. not me to dive in deep. You know, so I know, you know, that split really probably forced you to take a step back and look at things in, in a different light and different perspective. Right. Mm -hmm. And I always say this, man, this is one of my favorite quotes in order to get comfortable, you have to get uncomfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure taking a step away from something that you've known for the past five, six years of your life, something you've grown an audience and fan base towards has probably been the most uncomfortable thing you've done in a long time. You know, but I also think it'll probably be something that's going to allow you to get so much more comfortable than you've ever had in your life. You know, from my understanding, you just got a new job, right? You're, you're, you're getting the tattoo removed off your face. And not only that, but more importantly, you're building relationships with people who you've previously lost relationships with. You know, so all of these things that you're already doing and taking those proper steps is going to allow you to live a life that truly is worth living. 
You know, a lot of people, just because they see you create content, because you have a fan base and they see numbers, they might think that this guy has it all or he's in a good place. When in reality, those numbers are simply a shield to what's truly going on. And as somebody who creates content myself and sometimes will get focused in on the numbers and who has also, <laughs> you know, lived the life that I didn't think they deemed my true happiness, right? Um, I've been in those situations. So when we had that conversation, I could kind of sense that the direction that you were heading towards wasn't as simply passionate about this, the general men's physique content and, and community. And maybe it was me as the fan who didn't want to necessarily believe it and thought it was just like a phase that he'll get over. Um, you know, but when you made that, that post, you know, it made me realize that, Hey, you know, I think this one might be serious. And, you know, we talked, you know, less about, the the channel we talked less about um you know just content in general more of hey brother how are you feeling where's your head at you know and i understood that you taking this step back and you know whether it's refining your faith rebuilding your relationships um with your family you know just kind of recentering yourself i think you know as a friend more than anything i think that it is the best thing that you could be doing because just talking to you on the phone the other day uh, or a little bit ago i, I saw you know, a, a different sense of you looking like you're trying to find, refine yourself. And mm -hmm. for somebody who recently refound their faith last season, um, I say season because I was beat down because of my 2023 season to yeah. a point where I felt like the only thing that I could do was not find, you know, myself in other people, but find myself in the Lord. And when I did mm -hmm. that, you know, it allowed me to kind of branch out and then build those relationships with the outside, you know, world is my, my friends, my family, all of these things that I feel like I sacrificed during that time. So again, not to get too mushy here, man, I started mm -hmm. off by saying, you know, this is a bittersweet moment because it's bitter because of how much of a fan that I am of you, how much uh, you pushed me to create content. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Hart McGrath. Like, I want you to understand that right now. You know, like, I would not be sitting here, you know, with a, a setup and lights and, and all of these things if it weren't for Hart McGrath. And I wanted to make sure that I emphasize, like, man, how much you have brought to the men's physique division is unparamount. You've opened up doors for us athletes to get opened up to a broader audience. You have introduced fans who weren't even fans of bodybuilding, let alone men's physique, but simply fans of you, your personality to this world. And as much as some people might love or dislike your content, there's no doubt in our minds that we owe you a big thank you from the division of men's physique and bodybuilding in total. Because again, I'm a firm believer we wouldn't be here and as heightened or excited as, as you know we are if it weren't for you you know so again it's bitter for a lot of reasons but it's also sweet because not only are you going to take that step back and focus on you just like you have focused on us for so many of these months and years um you know it's it's sweet because i now have an opportunity as a content creator as a fan to now open up an opportunity for myself as well as the men's physique division and take the reins from somebody who motivated me to now, you know, branch out and do more with your channel. So the official announcement, I guess you could say, which might be discussed prior to this video, but I will be taking over Hart McGrath's YouTube channel and continuing his legacy. Let me make that very clear. His legacy <laughs> on building um, a, a more connected and well-educated fan base based around um, the men's physique world. And there's a lot of different ideas that we have. I think the first focus that we're gonna utilize is separating men's physique radio from my channel and giving it its own life because it has been taking on a massive, massive um, you know, upbringing since we officially started it. And I truly believe it deserves its own platform that allows fans to go on, connect, you know, invest in merch, invest in who we are, and just, again, get as much content as possible um, surrounding Men's Physique Radio. And again, even the, I guys want you guys to understand this, Men's Physique Radio wouldn't have even been a thing if it weren't for Hart McGrath. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, people don't realize sometimes the foundational pieces of what our relationship was. So, you know, me having an opportunity to, you know, invest in this opportunity, it, it's everything to me. And Honestly, man, I wanted to sit here and thank you for this opportunity. And I'm curious to know, man, like what was your head and, you know, what was the thought processes of you going about selling this channel? Well, first of all, bro, I love you a lot, dude. I wish I could, I wish I could see you in person for this interview and give you a big hug because I can feel the love pouring through the phone. I watched your video last night. 
on YouTube about uh, me quitting. And again, dude, you you're such a bright, intelligent dude, and you're you're very selfless, Alex. And there is no one else that I want to give the channel to than you. And and I think everything happens for a reason. And and I'm so glad this is happening. Um, but back to your question, um, why I'm choosing to sell it specifically, like right now, ASAP, and why I sold it to you is, um, man, I just wanna I want to continue my education. I want to finish my degree that I started a long time ago and live a simple, meaningful life, you know, that prioritizes my mother and her health and her well-being, my health, um, and just get, I'll, I'll be able to still give value to people. It'll just be in another way. Yeah. You know, my, my degree is in psychology and I plan on finishing that, you know, this year, early next year and getting into some clinical work after that. And, and like, I'll still be helping people, you know, it just won't be men's physique. And I think that may have been a reason why I stepped away from men's physique, because to me, I felt very limited in my ways of I could help people. I still coach my guys. I still train in person. I still do all those things. I'm very passionate about that. But my creativity and, and the way I felt like I was bringing value to the world was limited for me. And I think I can do I can have so much more of an impact Whoa, I'm not, I'm not going to let a tear flow right here. <laughs> I think I can have so much more of an impact on people's lives if I take some time to work on myself and be the best optimal version, which words you used yesterday, the best optimal version of myself away from the channel. And I think over the last six to eight months, it was really starting to be that way in my mind and in my heart. And I, and I knew I was like, dude, you, you, you got to stop this. You know, you don't like creating this content anymore. You, you did when you were 25 and you wanted to be the Mr. Olympia, but that was five years ago and your life has evolved. My interest has evolved. And, um, I really want to go in a new direction. And it, it's so liberating to know that I, I don't have to do that anymore and that it's okay. You know, I'm getting a lot of backlash, but it feels so good to know that you're taking this over and bro, I've been tuning into every single episode. I can't wait to see what you do with this. And I just know it's going to be something special. It already is. And if anything, man, I'm excited for you and I'm excited for the men's physique community because I don't think they understand how creative and intelligent you and your team are. Thank you. They think my stuff's cool. Give it a few months. Give it a couple of years. This your shit's gonna take off, bro. And I can't wait to be a fan of you, bro, and and what you do. I appreciate it, man. And again, I, I just want to reiterate, it doesn't happen if it weren't for you. Like, again, I just a couple months ago, I made my first YouTube video that was surrounded men's physique, you know, and it inspired me to do it because I just simply wanted to give a unique, different perspective um, from a channel that I already binge watched nonstop. I was one of those viewers, bro, like who had their notifications on and was ready to view your stuff as soon as I got ready. And it was just, again, I was a massive fan of yours, man. So I didn't, I didn't know you were that, that into it, to be honest, yeah, brother. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. And so I love this division so much. And you were the only person yeah. doing things that allowed me to almost feel in tuned and connected. And that's why I wanted to start doing this, use my resources. You know, yeah. I got two questions for you, man. And then I want to let you go here. Um, man, I'm not gonna lie, man. This is this is definitely rough. But overall, <laughs> overall, um, you you've taken a step back before. You've come back, right? You build a channel from that moment to just heightened heights that you know most people would only dream of, crossing the 100k sub subscriber mark and all of these amazing feats. My question to you is, man, it, after taking some time to step back a year, um, two years, kind of recenter yourself. One, will you? Keep, Will you be continuously watching men's physique up into this, like the, the Olympia going into these shows, or will you be completely kind of stepping away from that? And from that, stemming into it, do you think there will ever be a day where Hart McGrath comes back to YouTube in some format and either covers men's physique or something along the lines of what he has done in the past? I'm so glad you asked those two questions. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be tuning in and watching and, and seeing what's happening with men's physique. I, I still love the division. I still love the physiques. I still love following the guys. I still love, you know, seeing what's in the news and what's happening, man. I'll, I'll follow it all the way up to the Olympia and I'll, and I'll probably tune in for the rest of my life. There's definitely a piece of my heart that'll, that'll never leave. Um, but as far as returning back to YouTube, I think it would be awesome to return back to YouTube, but it would, it would have nothing to do with men's physique and probably more so to do with like mental health, men's mental health and, and stuff like that. Again, just providing, in my opinion, 
a a maybe a greater purpose or or more value um to people you know that are on youtube that do need some help you know so yeah maybe one day brother selfishly man mm-hmm. I, I want you you gotta you gotta give me at least one episode what, what, right right before the olympia you come on you give some predictions with us you 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 just yeah. come back bro we need that nostalgia there's one episode that's all i ask <laughs> yeah i'd yeah. be down I'll, I'll talk some shit now i'm really gonna talk some shit if you have me on that, there that's what <laughs> i'm gonna I'm say <laughs> i want unfiltered Hart mcgrath i want that i want that confidence of nah fuck this dude i remember <laughs> I, want, I want this dude. but um i love it man and then lastly um Again, I'm new to this. Um, I, I love what I'm doing. Uh, things are happening fast. They're growing fast. I'm forever blessed because of that. But a lot of times when things happen fast, right, there's a lot of little things that you can miss or there's a lot of things that just simply don't, you know, might not come to fruition as you, you perceived or hoped for. My question to you is, man, for somebody who's been doing this for so long and such a, a guy who's been somewhat new to this, is there any piece of advice, not only just taking mm-hmm. over your channel with your community, but also with the growth of my channel and my community and now blending the two, is there any advice that you can give, whether it's a mental thing or a, an actual channel, YouTube analytics, anything along those lines that you can give to me before I take on this journey. I know I'm putting you in the fire there too. No, I love <laughs> it, man. I love it. I, I would say, um, if I could give you any advice moving forward, man, on, on this new journey of yours, cause it's going to be quite a journey. Um, you're going to get, obviously, and I know you know this already, you're going to get, the bigger you get, the more you grow, you're going to get people that dislike your content, dislike who you are, and say a lot of mean things towards you. And I would just say to take nothing personally, and as long as you're creating content with good intentions, which I know you are, mm-hmm. it's 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 going to be an awesome, hard, fun rewarding, meaningful journey. So I would just say, take nothing personally. You know, I, I, I get comments still to this day on my channel that ripped me apart and I used to take it personal. And now I just, I just understand that, you know, what I'm doing has a greater purpose and there's good intentions behind it. Just like what we, with you're doing, just trying to shine more light, trying to bring more eyes to the division, trying to grow this sport. And if that's what you're really trying to do, it's going to be a rock star journey, brother. Hell yeah. Well, man, one, let me emphasize, you're 100% right when it comes to just as the more eyeballs come, you know, the, for the positives and also for the negatives, you're going to get, you know, the f- ebbs and flows of both. And um, again, man, at the end of the day, you can only can control what you can control. If you can stand 10 toes and be confident in the fact that the main purpose of what you're doing is to give value, create uh, entertainment. And um, again, just try to grow a division that you love so much. Um, you can sleep at night very comfortably, but I will absolutely use that as a reminder because I know you've been through some stuff with some of the people who we all look up to from today. And I can only imagine, you know, how you kind of maneuvered through that madness. Um, but regardless, brother, I wanted to simply end with this. Thank you for everything on behalf of myself, as well as the men's physique division. I'm honored to be the one to take over your channel and try to lift it to heights that have never been reached before utilizing my unique perspective, as well as Drew and Aaron, who have been such a key integral part to what we've been able to do here at men's physique radio. I want to give a quick shout out to our graphic designer, Trey. He is absolutely amazing. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. When hard mentioned the team, you know, he truly believes like guys, this is not just me. This is not just me with a mic. You know, I have my amazing editor as well as videographer in Johnny. He is just a wizard. He edits the podcast practically same day, gets him out, you know, all the content that you guys see, you know, he literally lives with me. He moved in with me to create this content, guys. We are so badass. We have, we are all in on this process. I want you guys to understand that we believe in what we're doing here. So making this investment, um, in hearts channel, it just made the most sense for what we're aiming to do. And we're going all in on trying to give you guys as much value as possible. And hearts sees that we talk to him about it mm-hmm. as a friend and also as a fellow content creator. Um, and then everybody else, even my wife, who is somebody who helps, you know, just dissect what we're doing, gives advice, and just simply is here for me to make me a better person. This does not operate without a team. And I will always consider Hart McGrath a part of this team as well. So he will always have a place to come back to if he ever wants to come back <laughs> to Men's Physique. But regardless, we will be back on a future episode and we will be sure to chop things up, ch- check in on them, see how things are going. So Hart, thank you, brother. If you ever need anything from me, my team, we are here for you. And then again, the men's physique community, brother. We thank you. Love you, brother. I appreciate you more than you know. Of course, man. You have a good one. And again, I appreciate you and honored to take over your channel.